Um, good morning, guys. I want to quickly take you through some of the issues you're having on Coursera and the solution. Uh, first of all, I would like to sort the issue of you know passing through FBI, making sure that your programs are free under the influence of the Federal Polytechnic Tomorrow. So all you need to do is um go to your mail first and then click on the invitation message by the Federal Polytechnic Tomorrow. So once you click on that, you would um, get something like this and you click join program. Now once you click join program, it takes you to a page where it takes you to a page yeah sponsored by federal protective you need to see something like this but the problem most of us are having is that we don't know how to use the phone for Coursera so preferably you go to your browser right at the top here then um, select desktop site the desktop site gives you a full preview of the Coursera page do you understand what I'm saying so once you see this it actually shows that you have logged in through FBI now Sometimes while you are working, you might you know make a mistake and leave the link for FBI. All you need to do is come to the left hand top corner, these three lines you can see. So you click them and um, select Federal Protective Killer. So just to refresh, do you understand me? So that is how to log in through FBI. Now, if you have not logged in through FBI before, all you need to do is when you click on join program, it takes you to a page whereby you are meant to set your password and um, other details for Coursera. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how to verify your account. Many of us have complained about verification of accounts. All you need to do is Come to the left hand top corner these three lines select it once you select those three lines once you select those three lines you go to account once you go to account ah, once you go to account then go to settings now when you click on settings settings gives you a full preview of your page all you need to do when you get to settings is go to your name verification if you have not verified before it's going to show you something like this it's going to bring you an option of verify my name or if you have verified it's going to bring out your name so all you need to do is select your name and um, your middle name and after that if you have a last name no problem or if you have just two it's fine just an arrangement and the correct spelling of your name on any of your verified id card then you submit once you submit, if you have completed any course, it is going to bring you a line under your course that is view certificate. Do you understand? Now, the next thing I want to talk about is your password. If you have a problem with your password, all you need to do is come to... Okay, let me sign out. Now, when you sign out of Coursera, you get something like this. If you want to sign in, you can press join for free at the middle here. Or you can come to these three lines also, then click on join for free. And when you click join for free, instead of sign up, you can see this arrow on top is pointing at sign up. Then you change it to login. When you change it to login, you put in your mail. You can put in, um, um, I'm coming. Okay, let's put in this mail. Now, when you put in this mail, the password that is registered with it is actually correct. But if you have a wrong password, just click on forgot password. Once you click on forgot password, you would um, put in your mail. Just put in your mail. Once you put in your mail and you press send reset password. Once you press send reset password to that um, person or to that mail, Go to your mail and click the reset link that is there. Once you click the reset link, it takes you to a page whereby you insert your new password. So that is that about password. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is um, verify how to get your certificate. Now, if you are doing a professional course on Coursera, there is a high probability that you might be asked to verify your national ID card. But if you are doing a normal course, intermediary or beginner, you wouldn't need that. So all you need to do when you want to get your password. Now, before that, when you want to get your certificate, before that, if you are truly logged in under FBI, you would not have the cost to pay for certificates or anything. Get me clearly. So all you need to do now is um, click back on this. Now I want to teach you how to get your certificate. Let me log into my account. Okay, login. Now, now I have logged into my account now. All I need to do when I log into my account, if you have truly finished your course, there are, there are some bars that you would see under your course. Now, when you see those bars, it actually means that you have completed those certificates. Now, you see something like this. When you see something like this, it actually shows that you've completed your certificate. If you check these ones that are up here, you can see that they are not yet completed. Now, for these ones that are, are verified my account already, all you need to do is click on view certificate. Do you understand? Now, all you need to do when you want to verify your password, your account, like I told you the other time, you go to settings, click those three lines, you go to account, then go to settings. The page brings you opens a lot of, of, of a lot of items you have um, your name you have where you can change your password 
you have verify my id because it's a professional account you have unlink my account from google and delete account so that's where you can get everything so because i verified my name the only thing left for me to verify is my id and i don't add that so on a normal account just click on verify name then put in your, th your three names or two names then you save once you save it takes you legitimately to your certificate now if you want to get your certificate all you need to do is um after the loading of the page okay okay i think the network is bad okay yeah all you need to do once you get to this home page it's going to browse it's going to open your remaining courses automatically for you so that is where you see all the courses that you have offered the ones you are still doing and the ones you have completed so yeah like we were talking about all you need to do is click on view certificates on any of them it takes you to your certificate page then scroll down click on download certificate once the certificate is downloaded you click here to download your certificate once it is downloaded it comes in pdf file so that is that so i think we've talked about how to log in through fpi we've talked about resetting of the password verifying your account downloading your certificate and how to log in through your mail so i hope this is um helpful for us especially those having issues with coursera thank you very much